Say that. That's wonderful. Who all speaks a different language? Okay, say a word in your language. Think really quick. Who are, okay, right here she's raising her head. I love it. Think a lot. And what language is that? Tagalog. Okay, so that is a, a, a special. special. No one in the world is just like me. And I promise to learn five wonderful things about me and my family. And plant it deep in my heart and share it with the world. So today, it's my turn to teach. Miyugyam, Atoham, welcome to the, our village of Uspangma. <clears throat> I want to thank you, Mayor, for your lovely words. It's greatly appreciated, and I want to thank the city of Irvine and Irvine Company, and in particular, Kurt. Where are you, Kurt? Yay, Kurt, you're such a pleasure to work with. Thank you so much for all your good work. It's a real joy to work um, with all of you and, and for this uh, moment of recognition of our history and our continual thriving presence in our homeland. This long overdue acknowledgement reaffirms the vital importance of our connection to this space, our continued connection. I also want to take a moment to thank the Acorn Group and Solo Creative for their expertise and sensitivity. They are the ones that really worked with the city and our tribe and CCRPA these wonderful uh, interpretive panels and, uh, think about people that uh, were um, you know, physically challenged and one of the reasons why some of the, the peak holes are a little lower and uh, they were just great to work with. I can't recommend them enough. Additionally, and very important, I'd like to acknowledge CCRPA, the California Cultural Resource Preservation Alliance. This organization has been a tremendous benefit to our tribal nation, providing us with resources necessary to preserve and protect our sacred sites. This takes a village, everyone, to make something like this happen. And, um, it, you know, it's it's been, I think, 2005, 2002, and here we are, 21 years later, if my math is correct, finally putting this seal um, on this moment. While the village of Ushvanga has changed and is now Portola Springs, the sense of connection to and appreciation to this beautiful place we call home is now a common thread that holds us all together. Today, as we unveil these interpretive panels, my hope is that these panels will provide Portola Springs community with a sense of what came before and what is still here. I hope that when you visit the Hahashiman room, or when you walk through the surrounding trails and look over the hills and the valleys and to the ocean, that you will feel and hear the continued presence of our ancestors. I want to um, say thank you again to everyone. Poeka means I am finished, and what a wonderful day. And I'd like to introduce uh, Patricia Marks. everyone. Um, I'd like to thank Mayor Khan and the Irvine City Council uh, and staff for the beautiful exhibits honoring the Ahashiman. And I'd also like to thank Kurt Linton and his staff uh, for their very uh, excellent community programs and for their cultural sensitivity and hospitality and providing access to the Ahashiman Room for the Ahashiman Tribal and California Cultural Resource Preservation Alliance meetings and gatherings. The mission of the California Cultural Resource Preservation Alliance, or CCRPA, it's easier to say, uh, is the protection and preservation archaeological, cultural, historic, and sacred sites in Orange and Los Angeles County. And the Portola Springs open space was, suppo was to, supposed to be part of the Portola Springs housing development. The 
Montaigneau, uh, I shall then consider the Portola Springs of Open Space to be a significant traditional cultural property and the uh, sacred place of their ancestors. It's also mentioned in historic Spanish narratives as the place where Portola expedition camped on June or July 26. 1769. Beginning in 2002, CCRPA, together with the local Ahashaman tribal community, had numerous meetings with the Irvine Company or the Irvine Community Development Company and were successful in negotiating a memorandum of understanding that resulted in the successful preservation of the Portola Springs open space and the uh, uh, Hashiman room and exhibits. On our first field trip, we met with the Irvine Company project managers and walked the area telling the story of its cultural and historic importance. It was a clear day and you could see the ocean in Catalina. I thought there was no way they would give up plans for a housing community with this view. But the Irvine Development Company reconsidered the plans for the housing development, preserved the area in open space, and gave the community the Ahashman Room for exhibits, educational functions, and Native American gatherings. The Irvine Company transferred the open space in the Portola Community Center to the city of Irvine, and the city has more than honored the commitment to preserve the land and share the story of the first pe people of Orange County with the committee, with the community. Thank you again, City of Irvine. Opportunity to introduce my tribal community. Uh, in the front row are members of our tribe that have made tremendous contributions. Uh, Jackie Nunez. John Acuna, tribal member Richard Kios, Aaron Cruz, Naomi Knox, Domingo Ballardis, and Vice Chair Mark Mendez. All of these people in our tribe play a vital role in making sure that our um, community understands that we're still here and educates and perpetuates and dedicates their lives, literally dedicates their lives to making sure that our culture stays alive. So I really want, want to take an opportunity to say thank you. I honor you today. This room is for you. Thank you.